Hey guys, it's Jordan coming at you. Some of you know me as Wobbly Pandas from YouTube, so. Um, so I got a question today asking me basically where I've been. So I figured it's been almost a month since I've posted a video, so I figured I owed the people who are subscribed to me an explanation as to where I've been, what I've been doing. So the, here's basically the explanation. So the last video I posted was an audition video. As far as the audition goes, I still haven't heard anything back. That's not the reason I've been gone the whole time. Um, so a lot of people on YouTube don't know that I was a nursing student. And I've been a nursing student since basically September of 2013. Well, May of 2017, which was about three months ago, I passed and I graduated and I got my uh, bachelor in the science of nursing. Yay. I was very happy to do that. Um, for those of you who aren't in nursing programs or know a lot about the nursing programs, once you pass the nursing program, you have one more step and that's to take what's called the NCLEX. It's basically if you've heard of doctors taking boards, it's very similar to that. It's one exam, it's about a six hour exam, it's a pass or fail. If you pass, you pass, if you fail, you fail, and you take it again. Um, there's no amount of, there's no amount of fails you can get and not become a nurse. You can fail as many times as you need to, but it's basically you just have to repay for the test over and over again and restudy over and over again, so... Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. So, May of 2017, I graduated. May of 2017, you have about, God, I want to say a month before you can take the NCLEX. So, I could have taken it in June. And I didn't, which has to do with two reasons. Number one, um, my dad had surgery in the end of May. So, I basically spent all of June and the beginning of July taking care of him. Um, he's doing fine, by the way, if anyone was wondering. The second reason I didn't was because my school kind of screwed up and gave me... It was it was weird. They didn't give me my testing priority because of a $5 late fee. It was really stupid, but... Anyway, I signed up for the first week of August because June and July I was doing stuff with my dad, taking care of him. So, first week of August, I decided... That I was going to take it. So I spent all of July studying. I used the Kaplan book. I'm not sure the exact title, but it, if you studied for the NCLEX, you know it's the Kaplan NCLEX book. That's basically what it's called. Um, I took the NCLEX August 6th. I had this whole video planned out and I just didn't want to post it. It kind of went to shit after a while. So, took it August 6th, woke up late, had to rush, got there on time, took the NCLEX. Now, the NCLEX is a six-hour exam. It consists of 265 questions. However, you can get 75 questions and it'll shut off. You can get anywhere between 75 and 265 questions and it'll shut off. And that basically tells you, okay, you're proficient, we're going to give you your your um your license to practice nursing or you absolutely suck and we're gonna not give you your license to practice nursing um and it kind of it's weird if you got 75 you either really sucked or you really failed and anything after that up to 265 it's like okay well you're meeting you're kind of meeting the level but you're either a tad above or a tad below so when i took it august 6th i got all 265 questions and it took me almost five hours roughly four hours and 45 minutes and yeah I was pretty not devastated I was upset because I didn't think I'd get all 265 but um, it wasn't the end of the world I could have passed I could have failed I didn't know yet so you have to wait two days for your results so August 8th which was yesterday I got my results and I failed and it was I was sad but like it's it's not the end of the world 
and a lot of you who've taken the NCLEX and failed feel like it's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Because I signed up again, and I'm going to take it again September 26th, and I'll be fine. I'll pass it this time. But, um, yeah. So I failed, and I told my dad, and he was supportive. He was shocked I didn't pass, but, you know, things happen. It's not the end of the world. I'll take it again in a month and pass it next time. My mom, on the other hand, was a different story. She basically hasn't talked to me since. Um, I don't think, I don't think she's mad at me for failing. It's more of a disappointment to her, I feel like. I don't know. She might be mad at me too because, because I didn't pass. That's another month I can't be working and contributing to the house. So, God, I did not expect to cry. I'm sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, so it's been basically about 30 hours since I found out, and my mom's been crying, and very just monotone with me, very one-two sentence, not really engaging with me, and it sucks. My advice to anyone who knows somebody who failed the NCLEX, never shut them out like that, because... God, it makes me feel like a failure. Like I failed the family as a unit for not passing one stupid test. Um. So yeah, that's basically what I've been up to. Oh, I did not expect to cry. Uh, um. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. So future plans. I'm gonna do a different study program. I take it September 26th, so that's roughly 45 days away. So, yeah, thank you all for kind of sticking around. I had this big plan that once I hit 100 subscribers, I was going to do this fun little video, and I still plan on doing the fun video. It's going to take me about a week to get it out right now, because just, you got to be in the mood to do a fun video, and I'm not really in that mood right now. Um... Yeah, so that's basically what's up with my life. Kind of sucks. Don't feel bad for me. I studied as much as I could. Studied over a month. Didn't pass. I'll do it next time. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.